getting dehydrated. Fortunately, we have things to keep us hydrated. The Gulf of Mexico, Tecate. Tall boy, you may say. Oh, tall boy. Yes, bikes. Okay, let's talk about bikes here. We are introducing at this show our first 29 inch wheel bike. We've called it the tall boy, not because of beer cans, but well, and not because of a bomb from World War II or any of that stuff, but because tall boys like them, amongst other things. Anyway, it is our third carbon fiber bike. We're using a one piece carbon molding process where we have a single bladder with mandrels for the front triangle, another single bladder for the rear triangle. That means single process layup, one piece construction, even the frame tabs and everything are part of that single molding process. It's not tubes that are stuck in a mold and then bonded together or any crap like that. One piece layup. What that allows us to do is get really precise control of our, of our tube thicknesses and our layup process between our mat here, we have 3K weave in critical areas that might get rock strikes, and the frame weight on this bike sits in right about five pounds, frame with shock. This is a 100 millimeter travel bike. Your comparative aluminum competition would run you probably six and a half to seven and a half pound frame weights. This thing is lighter than those by almost two pounds and probably stiffer than most of what they'll do and probably stronger. Superb bike in that regard. You take our VPP suspension with its 100 millimeters of travel. You uh, run angular contact bearings in here on big thick axles. They're made out of aluminum with little sweet collet heads that lock into place. Put it together with a set of big wheels and you've got bikes that weigh 24, 25 pounds and absolutely kick ass in terms of their long haul cross country race capabilities or the general trail riding behavior. One of the big issues with 29 inch bikes when we were doing our testing and analysis of all of this was that they tend to be a little bit flexy at times. There's really long down tubes and really long sections of frame that are being leveraged by big tall wheels and long suspension components and it's a, it's a challenge to get them not to be flexy and the big issue that we had with this one was making sure that it was not a flexy bike. The Tall Boy. Available now.